first of all establish a constant contact with yourself be with yourself all the time into self awareness all blessings flow begin as a center of observation deliberate cognizance and grow into a center of love in action i am is a tiny seed which will grow into a mighty tree quite naturally without a trace of effort establish yourself firmly in the awareness of i am this is the beginning and also the end of all endeavor hold on to the sense of i am to the exclusion of everything else when thus the mind becomes completely silent it shines with a new light and vibrates with a new knowledge it all comes spontaneously you need only hold on to the i am refuse all thoughts except one the thought i am the mind will rebel in the beginning but with the patience and perseverance it will yield and keep quiet once you are quiet things will begin to happen spontaneously and quite naturally without any interference on your part just keep in mind the feeling i am merge in it till your mind and feeling become one by repeated attempts you will stumble on the right balance of attention and affection and your mind will be firmly established in the thought feeling i am whatever you think say or do this sense of immutable and affectionate being remains as the ever present background of the mind to know what you are you must first investigate and know what you are not and to know what you are not you must watch yourself carefully rejecting all that does not necessarily go with the basic fact i am separate consistently and perseveringly the i am from this or that and try to feel what it means to be just to be without being this or that give up all questions except one who am i after all the only fact you are sure of is that you are the i am is certain the i am this is not struggle to find out what you are in reality cling to one thing that matters hold on to i am and let go all else this is sadhana in realization there is nothing to hold on to and nothing to forget everything is known nothing is remembered just remember yourself i am is enough to heal your mind and take you beyond just have some trust stop searching and see it is here and now it is that i am you know so well you cannot meaningfully say this is what i am it just makes no sense i am is the past end and needs no proofs stay with it be content with what you are sure of and the only thing you can sure of is i am stay with it and reject everything else this is yoga go back to that state of your being where the i am is still in its purity before it got contaminated with this i am or that i am your burden is of false self identifications abandon them all don't you see that it is your very source for happiness that makes you miserable try the other way indifferent to pain and pleasure neither asking nor refusing give all your attention to the level on which i am is timelessly present soon you will realize that peace and happiness are in your very nature and it is only seeking them through some particular channels that disturbs give your heart and mind to brooding over the i am what is it how is it what is its source its life its meaning it is very much like digging a well you reject all that is not water till it reaches the life giving spring the i am that pursues the pleasant and sons the on present is false the i am that sees pleasure and pain as inseparable sees rightly those who practice the sadhana of focusing their minds on i am may feel related to others who have followed the same sadhana and succeeded you need not worry about your worries just be do not try to be quiet do not make being quiet into a task to be performed don't be restless about being quiet miserable about being happy just be aware that you are and remain aware don't say yes i am what next there is not next in i am it is a timeless state